Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Olewibi. First, the headlines. Angola remains Africa's biggest oil producer. Joint ventures most hit by crude oil theft, Akabweze. Nimasa to deploy special mission aircraft to combat crude oil theft. And now, the news in detail. Despite the jump in Nigeria's oil production in June by 134,000 barrels per day to 1.158 million barrels per day in June from 1.24 million barrels per day in May, based on direct communication, Angola has retained its position as Africa's biggest oil producer, according to data released by the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, Angola's oil production rose to 1.100 175 million barrels per day in June, up from 1.162 million barrels per day in May, based on direct communication. According to secondary sources, OPEC's crude oil production averaged 28.72 million barrels per day in June, higher by 234,000 barrels per day compared to the previous month. OPEC said, despite the improvement in fossil fuel prices, the short term economic outlook for Nigeria was was clouded by high inflation which had reduced private sector optimism and weakened consumer spending. The Director General Budget Office of the Federation, Ben Akabweze, yesterday stated that joint ventures are bleeding the most as a result of rising crude oil theft and rampant destruction of oil production facilities across the country. Speaking at the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, LCCI Economic and Business Outlook Seminar 2022, tagged LCCI Mid-Year Economic Review and Outlook Conference in Lagos, Akabweze pointed out that J have the highest stake in oil and gas contracts. He blamed Nigeria's inability to meet the OPEC's quota on what he called industrial scale crude oil theft and the rampant vandalism of crude oil facilities. <laughs> The Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, has promised that two special mission aircraft in the Deep Blue Project fleet will be deployed to fight oil theft. Dr. Bashir Jamo, Director General of NIMASA, who made this known in a statement in Lagos on Thursday, added that the move would protect the nation's economy. According to Jamo, oil theft, pipeline vandalism, and illegal refining are unlawful activities threatening the economic and environmental well-being of the country. He said the aircraft would support existing platforms being deployed by other security agencies, which NIMASA had memorandum of understanding with. Jamo said the aircraft would assist in patrolling oil facilities, installation and other assets to observe suspicious human and vessel movements. <laughs> Fahad Bengdara has been installed as the new chairman of Libya's National Oil Corporation. According to the NOC's official Facebook page, he was forcefully installed by incumbent caretaker Prime Minister Abdul Hamid al Debeba with the assistance of the armed forces loyal to him. Video footage of scuffles at the NOC's entrance were posted by the NOC Facebook page. It reported that an armed group accompanied by a number of Mac civilians forcibly entered the main building of the National Oil Corporation and assaulted some employees and physically and verbally abused them. The newly signed chairman of Libya National Oil Corporation, NOC, Farhad Bengdara, soon afterwards announced in a press conference his official assumption of his duties to replace Mustafa San Ala, who led the NOC for about eight years. I thank the Government of National Unity, GNU, for assisting a new board of directors for the corporation, which will provide an integrated environment to lead the sector towards success, Bengdara said. We are sure our foreign partners that all the pledges and agreements signed will be preserved and we will seek to develop them under the supervision of the government, he said. <laughs>
Gas Networks Ireland has played down fears of any immediate disruption to Europe's gas supply by Russia and pointed out that Ireland does not rely on the Kremlin for the energy source. There is worry in Dublin and across EU capitals that Russian President Vladimir Putin could halt the supply of gas to the continent in the coming months, with particular concern over winter in response to sanctions over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Minister for Finance Pascal Donohoe said on Thursday that such a possibility was chief among the risks to the Irish economy, adding it could lead to major economic disruption in export markets with severe second-round effects for Ireland. In a statement earlier today, Gas Network's Ireland Head of Regulatory Affairs, Brian Marlins, said he does not envisage any disruptions to gas supply in the immediate future. Nigeria has improved on its global ranking in cybersecurity. The Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Professor Isa Pantami, has said Pantami made this known on the sidelines of the Stakeholders Consultative Forum on Emerging Technologies organized by Nigeria Communication Commission, NCC, and Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy in Lagos. The minister said that Nigeria was not doing badly on the Global Cybersecurity Index, which ranked the country 75 out of 175 countries in 2018 he said in 2020 out of 194 countries we were 54 the country increased by almost 19 and if you look at it the country was improving in global ranking before we end the news here's a recap of our headlines Angola remains Africa's biggest oil producer. Joint ventures most hit by crude oil theft, Akabweze. Nimasa to deploy special mission aircraft to combat crude oil theft. And that's the news. I am Naomi Oleribe. Good evening. <laughs>